Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Tech here. Today we're going to be looking at this from Ingenious. It's a EWS850 AP. In basics, it's a Wi Fi 6 2x2 managed outdoor wireless AP bridge. It's got a recommended retail price of roughly 300 UK pounds, which is roughly 400 US dollars. We've got links in the description below, so feel free to click on those links and it'll take you to the cheapest price in your country on Amazon. Okay, so we've got the Ingenious EWS850 AP. It's basically 802.11ax outdoor managed access point. In basics, it has features like uh, Wi-Fi 6 technology and things like that. It's allowed to tra transfer data at 1,200 megabits per second on 5 gigahertz as well as 574 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz for technology. Basically is you attach it to the outside of your building, office, house, whatever it may be, and it allows you to basically get a really good wireless uh, signal going around. But because it's managed, that means you'll have some software, which is generally cloud-based, uh, which will allow you to change certain functions like blocking people, changing settings, uh, and different things like that which you may need. Let's have a quick look at the box. It's a brown box, you can see here the information, it shows you a little picture of it here. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. It's a business solution, hence it's in a brown box. That isn't really what you get in a retail store. But that's pretty much it for the box. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Okay, let's start off by looking at what we've got in the box. So, you've got your quick installation guide there. It tells you how to connect the AP bridge up, tells you all your IP addresses and everything, what you need to set it up with and so forth, and basically yeah, how to do everything. Tells you your minimum requirements, obviously broadband internet service, uh, browser, and you've got uh, obviously your IP address configuration there. Switching modes, as well as manage EZ Master Sky Key and all your other bits of information on there. So it's got everything you should need there. Uh, you've also got uh, basically their compliances and stuff, paperwork, which we're not going to really need. And it's basically saying you've got optimized your hardware, you've got a wireless network design. It's called the EZ Wi Fi Planner subscription for a wireless network designer. And then you've also got EZ Master, again, subscription free wireless uh, network management, so forth. So, again, if you use it, that's up to you. Uh, let's go through what we've got. So, next up, you do have a cable here. It is a CSA TW cable, so you've got that there if you need it. Um, you've got all your fittings you're going to need to fit this into the wall and make it snug and everything you'll need there. Which takes us to the device itself. This is the obviously the back plate, which will go on the back of the device if you want to connect it, uh, basically up to a wall or whatnot. You've got that there. You've also got a PoE injector as well for obviously uh, for the power and everything like that. That is there. Comes with a power cable. It does come with. It looks like an American or European cable. That one. Uh, I do have a spare um, UK cable though. And then you've got four antennas. Each of the antennas do have the different hertz on there. So you've got two and a half or 2.4 gigahertz, should I say. You've got five gigahertz, another 2.4, and another five gigahertz antenna there, which these screw directly onto the box at the top and are labeled five, two and a half, and the same on the bottom. So you've got everything you need there. So you've got all your mounting brackets and everything on the bottom as well. And you've also got your LAN, your POE connection, which is there. So obviously that's how it powers. It powers through a POE connection. So that's power over Ethernet. You will not plug like a power cable directly into this because it has to go through a POE cable. That basically means there is power going through the Ethernet cable. If you haven't got an injector, they do supply one here. Um, but again, uh, you can also do it, obviously, if you've already got power over Ethernet set up going through a network switch or router. 
Okay, so I've connected up the PoE. So basics is first thing you've got to do is obviously get your PoE injector, plug it into the power. Then you get your standard Ethernet cable going to your router or switch or whatever it may be. The way, where you would get a normal internet connection from basically your network connection. And then you get another cable going from the PoE socket on here, which looks the same as an Ethernet, but you have to make sure it is a PoE and the cable, cable is capable of power over Ethernet. And that cable is then plugged directly into the Ingenious. Uh, which is in the bottom here. Okay, I've got the antennas on. The antennas are fixed position, so you can't adjust them. Again, this will generally go flat against a wall. So, obviously, you don't want the antennas to be flopping all over the place. You want it to be a nice, steady uh, place, and obviously, nothing to be interfering with them. So, they want to be fixed. Once that's done, You'll notice on the side there are four little LED lights. The first one is for your power. The next is LAN, that's saying you're basically connected up to your network and internet connection. Uh, it will flicker as well, obviously when data is going back and forth. So if I connect up using whatever I'm doing, you'll see that the different things will start flashing as the network connection goes through and so forth. So if I go into, let's just say YouTube, just turn the sound off. You'll see the little lights are flickering on here. So that's obviously through, through the wireless where I've got my laptop connected up through the wireless using this. So again, you've got 2.4 gigahertz. That's basically means a lower end wireless. Tend to find it used on older devices and you've also got 5G. That doesn't mean 5G is in like 5G mobile phone signals and stuff like that. This is five gigahertz signal coming from here, which is basically how the wireless or the speed of the wireless is able tra to transmit. And it is able to transmit up to 1,200 megabits per second. That's megabits, um, because obviously with data you travel or you measure in megabits, not megabytes like you would if you were trying to um, basically testing a, a hard drive or an SSD. So basic says networking usually is megabits per second, where you test in hard drives and stuff is megabytes per second. Can get a bit confusing if you're not sure. But there you go, so that's the basics to it. So all you need to do now is then go onto your device, so your PC or whatever, go to the IP address, get it all set up, and then you can basically use it however you want and set up your wireless codes and so forth so you can um, share and so forth and you've also got that additional software which they state it um, you can put on there for free without subscription as well if you wish and that's basically a managed device it basically means you can go in there and manage it it doesn't just sit there and work on its own it means you have to go in and change the settings to do what you want it to do so you could have this working independently than the rest of your network with a complete different wireless signal you could have in an exterior of a building just for people who are outside or whatever so they can connect up and they'll have their own separate using well not username but separate wi-fi password or an open network so anyone can get in and so forth